Hello students, welcome back to our channel, Mass by Sravan Watambedu. Hope you all doing well. And if you are watching our channel first time, do subscribe to our channel. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about Find the value of y for x equal to 0 0.5 and y equal to 0 0.4 given that dy by dx is x square plus y square and initial condition y of 0 equal to 0. So we need to use Picard's method to evaluate uh, 0.4 value at x equal to 0.4 y value to evaluate y at x equal to 0.4. Now first note down what is uh, given given uh, dy by dx is x squared plus y squared. Generally, except in Taylor's remaining all methods, we assume dy by dx as f of xy, x squared plus y squared. Now compare the given initial condition with y of x naught equal to y naught. Now you will find out what is x naught and y naught. x naught is 0, y naught also 0. Now we need to use Picard's method. Using Picard's method using Picard's formula for successive approximations y nth approximation is equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y power n minus 1 dx y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y power n minus 1 dx now, write in the place of n1, if you take n1, y first approximation, like that as many approximations you can, that many you have to, y first approximation is equal to y0 plus integral x0 to x, f of x comma y power 1 minus 1 y0 approximation y0 approximation we are treating as y0 value y0 value we are treating as y0 so now substitute all the values 0 plus integral 0 to x f of x comma 0 dx so f of x comma y is x square plus y square f of x comma y equal to x square plus y square so this is x and this is y f of x y integral 0 to x x plus 0 dx integral x dx integral x dx is x square by 2 limits 0 to 2 sorry 0 to x if you write in the place of x x you will get same lower limit is 0 no need to write lower limit if you write also you will get 0 so this is y first approximation value coming to the second approximation like this as many as possible for n equal to 2 you will get second approximation this is first approximation first approximation now second approximation y second approximation is equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y first approximation dx y power y power 1 means y first approximation already we evaluated y naught is 0 x naught is 0 y first approximation we evaluated y first is x square by 2 dx. So we know what is uh, f of x y. f of x y is f of x y is x square plus y square. So treating this one as x, this one as y, what you will get? Integral 0 to x, x square plus x square by 2 whole square dx. Squaring both squaring both the terms 
So integral 0 to x, x square plus x power 4 by 4, x square whole square, x power 4 2 square 4. Now integrate integral x square x cube by 3 integral x power 4 x power 5 by 20 0 to x x power 4 is x power 5 by 5 5 4 just 20 now write in the place of x x what you will get x cube by 3 so this one I am treating as y of x because if you go for next approximation you need to square this term if you square what happens x power 5 whole square, x cube whole square, x cube whole square, x power 6, x power 5 whole square, x power 10, higher powers. So we can ignore that higher powers, with that higher powers there is no use because uh, we need to find by 0 0.4, 0 0.4 whole power 10, where you will get value. After uh, decimal point, uh, after 4 or 5 decimals you will have non-zero value. So with that uh, we won't get much difference between uh, second and third approximation that's why we can conclude here itself so here y of x we are treating this one as picard's method solution of given d now we need to find y of 0 0.4 writing in the place of x 0 0.4 0 0.4 whole cube by 3 plus 0 0.4 whole power 5 by 20 like this one can easily evaluate by of 0 0.4 using Picard's method. Okay. So calculate this value using your calculator 0 0.4 cube by 3, 0 0.4 whole power 5 by 20 is your calculator. You will get by of 0 0.4 value 0 0.0214. Okay. This one is the answer. Using Picard's solve this differential equation y dash equal to y minus x square so here initial condition y of 0 equal to 1 given Picard's method up to fourth approximation so in the question itself we decided how many approximations we need to do fourth approximation after finding fourth approximation treating fourth approximation as y of x we need to find y of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so first note down what is given, given is y dash equal to y minus x square. So this one uh, we will treat as f of x y. Comparing given uh, initial condition with y of x naught equal to y naught, x naught 0, y naught 1. So x naught equal to 0, y naught equal to 1. x naught 0, y naught 1. Now, using Picard's using Picard's method what is formula for nth approximation y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y power n minus 1 dx so by taking n1 that is the first approximation first approximation we are going to get by writing n1 here ok approximation y first approximation equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y power 0 dx so this one we are treating as y naught y naught value only we are treating as y power 0 approximation, y naught we know, y naught is 1, x naught is 0, f of x comma 1 dx. So treat this one as f of x comma y, we have f of x comma y, f of x comma y is y minus x square, this is given. Using this, 1 plus integral 0 to x, this can be written as y is 1, x is x y minus x square 1 minus x square dx 1 plus integral 1 dx x integral x square x cube by 3 limits 0 to x if you write in the place of x x you will get same 1 if you write in the place of x 0 that becomes 0 
x minus x cube by 3 is y first approximation. Coming to the second, n equal to 2, second approximation. Second approximation, this is first. Y second approximation. In that formula, I am writing in the place of N2. Y naught plus integral x naught to x, f of x comma y power 1 dx. Y naught is 1, integral 0 to x, f of x comma y power 1 is here, 1 plus x minus x cube by 3 dx. So treat this one as x, this one as y. Formula is y minus x square, second term minus first term square. Second term minus first term whole square. 1 plus integral 0 to x. Second term 1 plus x minus x cube by 3 minus x square dx. 1 plus x minus x cube by 3 minus first term whole square. 1 plus integrate integral 1 dx x, integral x x square by 2, integral x cube, x power 4 by 4, 4 3 is 12, integral x square x cube by 3, substitute limits 0 to x. So if you substitute, you will get same one, nothing different. 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x power 4 by 1 minus x cube by 3. Okay. So if you write in the place of x, x, you will get same one. If you write 0, that becomes 0. Coming to third approximation. Third approximation. Up to fourth, we need to evaluate. Third approximation by taking n3. y third approximation y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y power 2 dx y naught is 1 x naught is 0 f of x comma y power 2 y second approximation is here this one is y second approximation 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x power 4 by 12 minus x cube by 3 dx. Now treating this one as x, this total term as y using this formula y minus x square what you will get? 1 plus integral 0 to x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x power 4 by 12 minus x cube by 3 minus x square into dx. So if you simplify, you will get like this, 1 plus integral 0 to x, 1 plus x, x square by 2 minus x square, 1 by 2 minus 1, 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 by 2, that is minus x square by 2, minus x cube by 3, minus x power 4 by 12. Yes. Now, integrate, if you integrate 1 plus integral 1 dx x, integral x x square by 2, Integral x square x cube by 3, x cube by 6. Integral x cube x power 4 by 4, x power 4 by 4, 4 3 is 12. Integral x power 4, x power 5 by 5, x power 5 by 12, 5 is 60. So if you substitute the 0 to x, you will get same term. If you write limit in the place of x, x, you will get same. Okay, now coming to 4. Fourth approximation by writing n4 in that formula. Y fourth approximation is equal to y naught plus integral x naught to x f of x comma y third approximation dx. This is y third y third approximation. So 1 plus integral 0 to x f of x comma third approximation we are having 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x cube by 6 minus x power 4 by 12 x power 5 by 60 
dx. So first one is x. This total term we can read as y. f of x comma y. f of x comma y is y minus x square. So one plus second term. Second term. First I am writing y minus x square. One plus x plus x square by two minus x cube by six minus x power four by twelve. Integral. Minus x power five by sixteen minus x square dx. So integrate here. Uh, integral zero to x x one by two minus one. Again, you get minus one by two minus x square by two. Okay. Now. Minus x square by two minus x cube by six minus x power four by twelve minus x power five by sixteen dx. If you integrate, you will get final answer like this: one plus integral x x square by two integral x square x cube by three three two zero six integral x cube x power four by four six zero twenty four x power five by sixteen. This one x power five x power four is x power five by five one by zero x power five integration x power six by six so x power six by six six zero six six zero thirty six three sixty now if you write in the place of x zero point one and zero point two you will get zero point one zero point two values one point one zero four eight we have zero point one value. By up zero point two, one point two one eight five, one point two one eight five. So these two. Here in the place of x, you need to write one plus zero point one whole square, zero point one whole cube by six, zero point one whole power four by twenty four, zero point one whole power five by sixteen like that. We substitute it. Okay. Read out the matrix.